Hello, my name is Jennifer Anderson, and I teach a class called iPad U at Heritage eSTEM in West St. Paul, Minnesota. Today I'm going to share with you my top three technology-based projects that support a big idea. My first project is digital photography. Using their iPads and a camera app, most of my students prefer Camera Awesome, Students study photography and create photo galleries that tell stories of who they are. And then we expand this project by having students work together to create a portfolio of images, along with some writing that reflects who we are as a community of learners. Students often feel that people don't always see them as who they want to be seen as, and this project gives students the opportunity to capture images that tell the story the way they want it to be shared. Our big project at the end of the unit allows students to use social media as a way to share their stories with the world. Our classroom uses Flickr to host the photos and students share those images and ideas from the site using Twitter as a way of broadcasting their work. My second project is digital citizenship. With all my projects, I like students to consider their own thoughts and ideas as a starting point for our work. With digital citizenship, students reflect on their own digital use what sort of footprint they think they're leaving behind. Students then use the internet to study trends in technology, identify hot topics such as cyberbullying and identity theft, and research how digital footprints can impact the way their friends, teachers, and even future employers might make judgments about the type of person they are based on their footprint. This project expands into a bigger idea as students finish the unit by working collaboratively to design and create projects that demonstrate positive ways that technology is being used by students. In the past, my students have participated in sharing ideas they're passionate about um, in talks modeled after TED Talks. They've created a YouTube channel dedicated to spreading happiness after studying Soul Pancake. Students have also put together a series of public service announcements that they share with other students that talk about digital citizenship. My third technology-based project that supports a big idea is challenge-based learning. Again, by starting small, I have my students identify issues in their lives that they believe can be changed by the actions of a small group of students. After we've identified topics for change, my students begin to work in teams, completing research, sharing ideas, creating solutions, and sharing their projects with others using the various technology we have available to us. After a group of my students identified that they didn't think that middle school students were getting enough physical education, they looked further and investigated the problem in our society with obesity in children. This group took action by tweeting daily tips for physical activity, they Skyped with a physical trainer who works with kids, they created QR codes and put them up around our school so that students were able to tell how many steps they were taking throughout their day at school. Finally, this group created a website based on learning things about physical education and the health risks associated with not getting enough physical activity. This group also investigated to see if the lack of physical activity was a problem for children in other parts of the world. They wanted to identify the global impact of this problem. Projects like these continue to take the small ideas that my students have and allow them to grow into ideas that become big projects that they feel impact the world in which they live. 